oxygen absorber, something that is a must have when preserving food, whether it's in mason jars or in mylar bags. So how many and what size oxygen absorbers do you need and for what? Let's go ahead and talk about it. So I get all of my Mylar bags and oxygen absorbers from Packfresh. They are absolutely amazing. I love their customer service. I love their bags, their selections, their prices, everything. I have never had failures. And anyway, I just love Packfresh. They have been something I've been using for the past year and a half, almost two years now. And so they're a tried and true brand. And I want, I'm saying this because they have a little chart here and I'm gonna put this up. But they have a chart here that is talking about um, what matters is the air volume in the container of what you filled. So I do agree with this, but I also want to give some caveats about what they're saying. So what they're saying is absolutely 100% right, right? Um, in the Mylar bag and oxygen absorber world, in the prepper world, I like to make things just a slightly easier on myself. I really don't want to have 50 cc's and 100 cc's and then 300 cc's and 1400 cc's. Like I don't want all these different sizes of oxygen absorbers. It gets a little um, clustered that way in my opinion. So for gallon size, I will use 500 cc's no matter what the food is. I have never had a failure with this. I have always had success now for anything that's like a, um, a half gallon or a quart, I'll use 300 cc's. And it doesn't matter what food that I'm using, I'll use 300 cc's. Um, I will, I don't think I've ever done anything with 100 cc's. If I have 100 cc's, I will usually add one or two or three in there to make sure that the oxygen is being, because I just don't use like a quart or a pint. But if you are using the pint or the quart, you will use these 50 or 100 cc's. Now, if you wanna go on this chart that I'm showing you here um, from Packfresh, that is totally fine because you know they are experts in this, okay? They know what they're doing. This is them, okay? You talk to Packfresh about Mylar bags and auction absorbers, that's it. But my really easy chart is this. It's for one gallon, I'm using 500 cc's, no matter what the food is. And then for five gallons, I will use 2,500 cc's. I have also used 2,000 cc's and 2,000 was fine, but I've upped it. You know, most everyone that you'll talk to says just use 2,500 with five gallon, and that's true, okay? Um, 2,500 is a good safe bet for just about everything that you put in a five gallon. Anything that is below one gallon, like these tiny little bags like this, I will use like a 50 or 100 cc. A half gallon, I will use um, 300 cc, pretty much no matter what the food is. Again, definitely go by the pack fresh chart that you're seeing here, and I'm gonna put a link, direct link to them, as well as, yes, an affiliate link in case you wanna get any um, more Mylar bags or oxygen absorbers, just because I love them so much. But keep this chart in mind. Again, I'm gonna link it down below to where if you wanna print that for your own um, needs, you definitely can. And you will see lots of variant charts online, okay? But in my experience, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna give you my number in the description as well, um, saying half gallon was 300 cc's, the quart or the pint, I will usually use just 100 cc, and then a gallon, I will use 500 cc, and then for five gallons, I will use 2,500 cc's. And then if I have anything in between one gallon and five gallon, I will usually use uh, the, anywhere between 500 or 700 cc's. Like for a three gallon, I'll use a 700 cc. I very rarely have three gallons in the house though. So <laughs> these are just average numbers. And for me, it doesn't matter what the food is. Um, but you wanna make sure that you're not wasting, you know, oxygen absorbers as well by putting too many or too less. So, but you wanna make sure that, um, you know, if, if you're uncertain, if you're like, should I put a 300 or a 500? Go ahead and put the 500. So go down to the link to look for the pack fresh on what they recommend for certain types of foods and containers. And then you'll see right below my recommendations on um, what I've always done for my foods and packaging in Mylar bags. Um, and uh, see how it works out for you. Thank you all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow, I'll be preparing today. I'll talk to you later, bye.